Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Veronica. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad to have you. Today is um, going to be about a couple different things I'm going to be talking about. One is going to be a thrift store haul. But the first thing is going to be about my Sono Bello update. Back in January of this year, I had liposuction done at Sono Bello. And I was 190 pounds. I know that probably doesn't sound like a lot to some people. I'm between 5'3 and 5'4, so to me, I'm like, mm, I wasn't happy about it. You know, I, did, I didn't like my body. So you go, you know, you go um, a week later for your checkup, and then for your three month, and then for your six month. Well, today was my sixth month and final checkup, and I'm going to miss them. They are such wonderful people, so sweet, so caring. So anyway, they do before and after pictures. And, um, anyway, so it, it doesn't cover very much because I am very big chested, so did not cover me up on top. So I don't think it'd be proper to share those, but just trust me, I, I was 190 pounds. Um, and at my three month checkup, I was 180 and my scars are healing up nicely. It looks great. Um, it's not a, it's not like a complete, like weight loss regimen. You know, oh, you get this liposuction and then, you know, you don't have to take care of yourself ever again. The fat's gone. No, that's not how it works. You still have to diet and exercise. Still have to watch what you eat. Still, you know, count your calories or, I mean, I'm not saying that I do that stuff. I'm not perfect. You know, um, you don't gain weight overnight and you're not going to lose it overnight. Everything takes time. Perfection takes time. Um, but I'm doing a lot better. I had my, like I said, my six month checkup today and I am down, I'm down to 173. So from January to now, you know, 190, 173. Um, no, like I said, no, I don't sit there and like count every little calorie I eat, every, watch every little thing that I make and all this other stuff. Um, I do eat more fruits and vegetables than I did before. Um, I quit drinking soda. Every once in a while, I will get a taste for one. Um, I'm not going to completely deprive myself. Um, but, you know, you get a taste for something once in a while. And I don't think you should completely deprive yourself. Um, but I have been exercising more than I did in the past. And I can tell... Oh, excuse me. My clothes fit different. I've had to buy some new clothes. I've had to get rid of some clothes. So it's not always the number on the scale that you can tell, you know, if you're losing weight or not. I mean, it is, you know, you know, a few numbers. But I think it's like, for me personally, it's the way my clothes fit. It's a lot of it, I think, personally. But my scar is healing up nicely. Um, like I said, I got before and after pictures. I'm not going to share those. They're not, you know, just take my word for it. Um, if there is some way that I can figure out, find like a before and after picture of just like how I was before the surgery and how I am now, you know, I'll try and do that. I'm not going to promise. Don't hold your breath. Um... But yeah, so that's my update. I'm down. So, um, I need to quit saying, um, sorry. Point taken, point being is I've lost some weight. And I'm doing good. I'm happy. I would do it all over again. I would highly recommend them. They're wonderful people. So, that's my update on Sun Bella. It was my final, um, check in today and oh because I have done so good that I'm one of their success stories so they're going to send my information to corporate 
because I've done so well with it that I, that that's great for me. I mean, I'm like, I was excited when they told me that. I thought that was really amazing. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, so we're going to get on with my thrift store shopping. I didn't get much. It's a couple little, like, candle holders, and I got a clock. But I thought it was cool. Here's, here's the clock that I found. I thought that was pretty cool. I think we're going to put that above our fireplace. So I thought it was pretty cool. And then I found this. I guess they call it a hurricane candle holder. I'm not sure. Um, to me, I'm like, hey, it makes, makes a great wine glass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, here. Here's this. I thought that was really pretty. It's got the little detail here. I thought that was cute. So... I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet, but, and then last but not least, we got some, handle holder, I got these, I got three of these, they come in different sizes, one small, and then the next size, and then the next size, um, I'm not a fan of the gold. I was thinking maybe trying to paint it rose gold or maybe black. I don't know. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you would do. Otherwise, that's pretty much all I got today. Like I said, nothing too exciting. I mean, I was happy with it. So, um, and while we was there, we was leaving the uh, thrift store. There was this car park next to us, and they had, they had. All their windows down probably this much and they had a little dog in the car they made me mad I mean yeah your windows are down some but it was still hot and this poor little dog must have been maybe 10 pounds I don't know what kind of dog it was some kind of a Yorkie something I don't know but my heart my heart was sad it's like it's really hot even though you have your windows down it's still hot you know how would you like to be in a car sitting there even if the windows are down no AC was on the car wasn't running it's like I just don't understand how people can do stuff like that to kids and animals like you know it's just ugh, it aggravates me I could I could I don't know but other than that we've had a good day we went out got some lunch after my uh Sonal Bella checkup so yeah, we had a good day. I'm excited. It's a good day. Um, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.